Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you guys doing? What I want to say is this. I just was walking back from the gym and I thought I'd actually make this video and share what's on my mind because I was thinking about this. First and foremost, I've been online for about seven years. I've been in the public sphere for about seven years now, which is approaching a decade. And in that time, I've gone through a roller coaster of emotions. It's been a very tempestuous and tumultuous time in terms of my own spiritual development as well as my own psychological growth. And I have to be honest with you, since we're being open and honest, that in the beginning of my journey and even up until quite recent, recently, when people used to criticise me, and it's still the case, I'm not saying I'm being alleviated of this fully, but when people criticise me, um, I've had this tendency to have a knee-jerk impulsive reaction. Anger, disgust, maybe resentment. Um, why is that? I don't know. And sometimes I'll justify it to myself in a put in like an ad hoc way and I'd say to myself something like, look at them, they're challenging the truth, you know? And I would convince myself that the reason why I was angry with them was whoever the haters may be, uh, especially especially Muslim haters, because within my own community, it's like the closer they are to you, the people, the, the, the more raw the criticism can be. That I would convince myself that the reason why I have this very strong and raw emotion towards them is because they're challenging the truth and look how unjust they are, they are and I have to make the truth clear and known and all these kind of things. But throughout Ramadan and the more introspect about this matter, the more I actually realize that there's only a certain degree of truth in that proposition. Like, the, probably, and I would say this in all honesty, yeah, the reason why I probably felt so um, outraged, okay, disappointed, outraged, angry, whatever it may be, yeah, was simply because I love myself very much. <laughs> I love myself very much. I know that sounds quite an embarrassing thing maybe to admit. But like, that's the truth. It's self-love, yeah? Now, the truth is, I think all of us have that aspect of self-love in us. And if you want to call it narcissism, call it that. But for me, it was particularly, um, it was it was it was particularly pronounced. I would say, yeah. And then the more I think about it, the more I thought about it, I should say, yeah. The more I realised that actually, all these critics were doing me the biggest favour of all. Honestly, I spoke to one of them actually on the phone. I'm not going to mention him, and he interestingly said about himself. That it's a win-win situation when I get criticised. It's either that... It's either that the person is taking away from my sins. If I'm, in, if I'm on deviance, then the person is helping me get away from deviance and alleviating my sin on the Day of Judgment. Or that they are oppressing me, in which case I will get their reward on the Day of Judgment. And the more I think about it, the more I realise that critics are the greatest help of all. Man is motivated almost entirely by his insecurity. And I'm no different. And so when someone criticizes you, especially if there's a degree of truth and legitimacy of their criticism, whether it's your work or you as a person, your behavior, it does have an impact. And since we all have this self-love, and let's say mine was particularly pronounced, at least in my own self-assessment, it was not comfortable. However, now, since I've kind of rationalized this to myself, I'll be honest with you. I have changed the way I look at critics. When, especially Muslim critics now, they come out and they speak about me. Wallahi, I have actually changed the way my emotional disposition towards them has changed. I'm, I'm not making this up. I'm not saying this to score points on the public sphere. But I'm just sharing this to let you know that this is 
possible that you can actually change your emotional you can actually change your emotional reactive capacity yeah towards people from resentment and dare I even go to as far as to say verging on hate and anger and disappointment and disgust almost to the complete opposite almost to like now I like some critics, especially Muslims, actually only Muslims, what I'm about to say now, I actually feel a sense of appreciation to them. Like recently there was one particular critic of mine, I say, um, that they were doing this like masjid thing where they, they were doing a whole session about me and talking about, like literally taking my quotes and talking about me and stuff like that and saying you made this mistake here, made this mistake here and like it was a 30 minute or 40 minute session and I couldn't watch all of it even uh, but what I'm saying is I'm thinking wow you're, you're actually investing time into me like that yani, honestly I felt I felt a sense of gratitude towards them almost because critics are sometimes the great, greatest force of change so what I'm saying to you is, if someone criticizes you in your life, yeah, don't always feel the need to react to that or to attack them, like I have been doing for the last seven years. I'm not telling you this in a sanctimonious way. I'm telling you this in a, in a way to actually all that uh, you know. I've been I'm so good at this. I'm telling you this because it's honestly it's it's it's, it's possible. I want you to know that it's possible. And there's one ayah in the Quran that has really especially when it comes to muslims has has changed my has really checked me which is and do not put in my heart any resentment to those who have believed so what i'm saying is there's a way to change the matter there's a way you can change your feeling of anger and resentment and embitterment to, to a more refreshing kind of gratitude. There's a way of doing that. But it requires, I think it does require some deep introspection. And you need to kind of abstract yourself from yourself, de-individualize yourself. Look at yourself from the outside, like as if you were not you, yeah? I mean, that's what I had to do. And then I, when, when you start doing that, I start realizing, okay, this person has a point. This person from their world view or their perspective, whatever, maybe they're doing it for this reason. And then you start to actually forgive people. As the Quran states, you know, do you not want people to forgive you? Be merciful to those on the, the hadith says that be merciful to those on the earth and Allah, the one in the the one in the heaven will be merciful to you. So what I'm saying is I want to share that with you because I'm going on a journey. Maybe a lot of people are influenced by my journey. So this is part and parcel of my journey. My journey is that now that I look at people, criticism, critics have, for me, I don't feel the same sharp. I'm not saying now someone criticizes me, I don't feel anything. Still, I do feel something, but it's, I've become so desensitized to it. And I can see it for what it is that actually both the criticism and the critic for me are two different things as they were before. And I hope if, and it's so liberating, honestly, it, like it is spiritually and psychologically liberating. Like if... I feel like if more, if we could do more of that as a community, in our families, in our communities, in, in our dealings with other Muslims, if we can do more of that, wallahi, I think it's, it will alleviate so much of the anxieties of life, so much of the stresses of life, so much of the problems in life, and it will make life better. But of course, that doesn't mean to say these critics, the armchair critics and all these guys can just do and say whatever they want, because sometimes they do go far. But for the most part now, if if the reaction is is more measured from our side, then as I say, it's, it's going to be a positive force for change, for good. I hope that makes sense, guys. I know I've been rambling, but I haven't... With these kind of car talks and stuff, I don't plan them. I'm just... This stuff has been swirling around and fermenting in my mind for some time. So I thought I'd bring it out. Sorry, I can have to unpause.